So hey everybody, I am back with another video. I just wanted to come back on here and um, share with you my experience with taking the NCLEX. So if you want to see how my experience was and um, well basically hear about it, then just stay tuned. So my experience with the NCLEX, let's, let's talk about it. All right, there were things that I was definitely um, hoping that I wasn't going to uh, see on the NCLEX, but I was definitely expecting it. But it was kind of unexpected. I was expecting it, but it was unexpected. But um, you know how like there's there are things on there that you be like, oh, please, please, please. I hope I, I get it, but then that's it and, you know, move on. So, boom. I'm taking my NCLEX. <sighs> Tell me why the whole, my, my whole NCLEX was basically the SATA questions. For those of you that don't know what SATA is, SATA stands for select all that apply. Select all that apply. It, it is evil. It is so evil. Because anybody that knows about that, then you know that one answer could be correct or it could be all the answers um, could be correct. But you, you know that meme, that circle around, I'm going to see if I could post it up in here somewhere where it was like, basically, yes, you answered that the answer was correct, but was it the most correct? That, that's that's like the frustration with, with select all that apply questions. So like I said, boom, my NCLEX was majority select all that apply questions. I was expecting select all that and apply questions, but I had no idea that literally my whole test was basically going to be that. The people that I um, I normally talk to and, and things like that, or even like some of my classmates, they could literally count on their two hands or sometimes one hand how many select all applied questions that they had received. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, but I know everybody experience is different. So what happened for them may not happen for me, but I was not expecting the whole test to be select all that apply. What, what you mean by this? There was times, okay, where I would get a single um, question and I knew it off the bat, boom. And I'm, I'm, I'm ready to keep the ball rolling because, you know, my momentum was going. And then after I get a single question, I get a select all of the question. Then I get a single question, then I get a select all. Then I get a select all, a select all, a select all, single. And this was like the, the, um, the algorithm for me, for me. Um, it was very, very frustrating and it can be definitely discouraging, but I would have like these pep talks in my head. I'm like, look, this is the time you, you, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Let's get it. Let's get it. So what basically got me through those select all the, um, questions was, um, my previous experience and practice with, uh, select all questions but um, I definitely had to pace myself. I started to do things like um, process of elimination. I, I, I had to look at the, um, the question in itself. I'm like, okay, so what's the topic? Okay, boom, I know what my topic is. What can I eliminate? Boom, I can eliminate some of this stuff. I'm like, oh, I could do this. I could do this. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. Then I would go back to my topic again just to make sure I read it correctly and looked at my answers. And then I would select those answers. And that would be like the, um, that would be like my, um, my way of answering those questions. But I'm telling you, those select all questions, they were they were draining me. I, I, I'm I'm not going to say they were challenging because I had more difficult questions when I was like doing uh, test bank questions and things like that. So 
if I can get through those difficult questions and I'm like, okay, this is a simple question. So, but sometimes you start to doubt yourself, even like with the simplest questions, like I said, whole test was basically SATA questions. Then on top of that, my test, I had to go the full distance. My test did not shut off in 75 questions. And then I shut off at 85 or 95. I had to do the full 145 questions. And in hindsight, like when I look back on it, I realized, like I said, the single questions, I could, even if I didn't know, I could play that process elimination game and I would narrow it down and I would get those answers. So I was very confident with my with those single questions. But when the, when baby when that when my se select all apply questions started kicking in, you kind of do have like that little bit of doubt where you like, oh, is, should I submit this? Should I not submit this? So I will pause before I you know hit submit and move on. So I, I really feel like what really took me that to the distance of the one forty five was because um. It was something along the line of how I was answering my select all questions. Though, if you if this happens to you and like you have um, majority of your tests to select all, please just pace yourself, breathe the best that you can, and get out your brain. Don't don't tarnish yourself by like just um, doubting yourself because it's, there's no need to doubt yourself. You studied the material, you went through nursing school. You know this stuff. If you took the time and did all the necessary uh, precautions that you have done to take this test and you're paying for it, let's not mess up this opportunity. Look at everything as like uh, a lesson learned. So like I said, I felt like I did everything that I could. So I was answering those questions as if my life depended on them. So I, you know, I took my time and that's all that you can do. Just take your time and just be confident in what you're doing and just don't let anything else distract you. Um, another factor that could have prone, you know, that prone into me, um, I guess, like doubting myself and stuff like I was really, really uncomfortable, like um, in the setting that I was doing the test. Because uh, once again, I had to take it during COVID. And um, I also, like during COVID, you know, you have to wear your mask. And like they had cameras above me, in front of me. like it, And then I was like in a cubicle. And behind the, the cubicle was a glass window where they could, you know, watch you. So you didn't want to make too many different movements and stuff like that. Because certain movements that are repetitive, you know, they could consider that as cheating. And so you don't want to do that. So I was just trying to just <laughs> be one with the computer. But I was super, super uncomfortable. But look. Sometimes you have to be uncomfortable to um, to win in life. You feel me? So, like I said, I was not as expecting all select all that apply questions. I was not expecting going to full 145 questions. But um, maybe that was just my way. That that had to be my way and my um, you know testimony of how I had to close out with finishing um nursing school i had to i had to go through that just to you know make myself more of a believer that i can do the challenging things even if i don't want it like i from day one i kept saying i don't want select order apply i don't want to go to full distance well guess what everything that i didn't want i had to go through but it didn't stop anything because i still passed on my first try and i'm sitting here telling you guys that you know i'm a nurse i have rn behind my name and that can be you too don't don't limit yourself don't limit yourself don't psych yourself out don't be afraid of these things welcome it definitely welcome it all right you guys like comment and subscribe and um i would just love just like i said to see what 
what your experiences was. So let's let's get active and let's talk about this. And um, hit me up on my other social media platforms. And I will see you in the next video.